Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. Listen, on the real, this ain't a joke. Uh, let me tell you what happened. Ladies, listen up. I still can't believe it. Hell, it's not me. It's my friend. I still can't believe it. I'm saying call the authorities. I don't believe in playing around with some serious stuff, you know. Well, let's see. No, no. We need to get some answers. And sometimes you're going to have to call those people. Let me tell you what happened. Um, it's just dangerous to date. This video, this popped off yesterday that I got a call today. And a person playing dodgeball or playing possum. Here's the deal. I don't know what you all will do. I'm going to start, let you know what happened. I'm saying call the authorities. So, dear friend of mine, we're close. Uh, I've been dating him. I dated him for like, what, about a year, a year and about three or four months. Okay. A year and three, about three to four months. Okay. So almost a year and a half. Okay. Uh, I know this kind of things like, let's say, for example, someone says to you, and what the deal is, this video She found herself basically dating somebody who doesn't exist. That's what I said. Dating somebody who doesn't exist. That's why I'm on 10 like, what the heck? I ain't never heard of anything. I've never heard of anything like it. So here's the deal. Dating for about a year and three or four months. Uh, I kind of noticed like when a person, you can like ask somebody a question. And I see, you know, I said before I said, I said, this person must have some kind of secret. This sounds like some secretive stuff or might be a big liar. I mean, everybody will lie and say, do you look good? You're like, yeah, you look great. But I'm like, some people just, you know, just, uh, just lie about everything. You can ask a question like, I notice whenever somebody asks a question, the person is always like extra careful. It's not like you in front of a crowd and got to be all PC. You can ask like, what time is it? Is it daytime? Is it nighttime? And it's like, you'll say, is it daytime? And you're looking like, hello, is it daytime or nighttime? It ain't hard to figure out. A simple question. Are you male or female? Hello. Why you got a 30 second hold? Everything is on pause. So my thing was, I said, you know, I'm starting to think the person does that. I always trying to think ahead of time. I mean, just answer the freaking question. I think a person is doing that because you got something to hide. So keep in mind, I'm going to get to it. When I tell, I'm telling you dating somebody who doesn't freaking exist. So I said, I said, something is always up. I said, something just not right. Must be hiding something. Okay. So the person is obviously in, I mean, at this point, he's been around uh, the family. Okay. He is so in, he's even around, let's say like your brothers and sisters, he's in with their friends. Okay? He's popping at, at the families and friends' houses. Oh, come on inside. Yeah, come on in. Sitting up chilling. Spent the night at one of them residences at the party. Stayed the night. So here's one. So I just said, I said, you know, I kind of stand back a little bit because when my when I feel a negative aura or the energy feels off, you know, I'm just gonna be me. I'm gonna be honest. If I'm not checking for you or I have negative energy, I'm gonna be real, not fake about it. I'm just gonna kind of stand down. I'm not gonna be insulting, not gonna be mean and rude, but I'm gonna let you know real quick. I'm gonna kind of stand down and kind of stand from afar and just kind of watch. Okay, that's when that's how I operate. And so I've already noticed that felt that way, and I'm just kind of like just kind of stand back watching as you. Can, as you know, I'm very loquacious, hence having this um, channel. So I'm like, yeah, a person like that, you know, just lies so much. My gosh. I said, I don't understand. It's like a simple question. You got to always be on pause. Answer the question. Are you male or female? Or are you both? Are you, wearing a, are you wearing a rainbow sombrero? Yes or no? You can ask me. Simply said, are you wearing a sombrero? No, I'm not. I don't need 30, 15, 45 seconds to answer the question. But see, when you are shady and you're a liar, you will do that. So again, this person is like totally in around the friends and family and then even around the family members' friends. Okay, so like totally in, you would think it's going to be a marriage. Okay, so check this out. So an invite had went out and the invite had went out through uh, the email. And let's say the person's name is like John Doe. Okay. He replies to the email, but instead of John Doe, we see Wayne Sanders 
Doe. And it's like, who the hell is Wayne Sanders Doe? I thought your name was John Doe. So I was like, you see that email? Who is this? Ask the person about it. What happened? The person says, oh, that's an old name. What the hell you mean it's an old name? I'm not understanding it at all. Is this like a street name? Is it your government name? Is it a nickname? But I understand people have, you know, nicknames, of course. And I understand people have street names. Hey, you, you know, I, I get it. You know, an alias. But when you say things like, oh, that's an old name. I never heard that. Most of the, oh, that's my nickname. Or, you know, if it's a business, I understand. But how we go from John Doe to like Wayne Sampson Doe. Some old, you know what I'm saying? It's like. Where's this from? So now you're hearing the person says it's an old name. What the hell you mean it's an old name? An old government name? Did you change your name? So at this point, she has a job. And this person, she's very, uh, very technical, okay? A very technical person, uh, um, um, you, you know, knows how to do like, oh yeah, had a job doing investigations for like background. So it's like she, it's not like she would know what to do. And anybody can do a background check. But I'm just going to let you know what her standing is. She knows how to do that. And she's also very technical. Me, I am so like not technical, okay? So it's like, okay, all right. Again, dating somebody who doesn't exist. And then I remember real quick, I remember... It was some place when I said, oh, yeah, I see, you know what, they want to see, they want to see ID. So everybody, you know, if, if you have been here before, knew, they kind of want to see the ID. And that person squawked at it. I don't need to put any ID. I don't need to put any ID. Why can't you just pull out your ID? Okay? They just want to know. That, that's it. And it was a big old whoop de Not pulling out any ID. Well, I'll just leave. Well, hell, let him just go. Okay? It was like, I'm like, it's no big deal. Did you, like, forget your license? Just say so. Pull out a freaking debit card. Something. You have anything on you? Just, just ID. You drove to the location with everybody. Just ID. That was a big deal. I'm just going to go ahead and leave. Then you just go ahead and leave. I thought it was weird. So I've been kind of standing back because I've been sensing something kind of shady. Ladies, hope you have your tea, honey. You might you might need a little something extra in your tea and your coffee this morning, this afternoon. You might need a little extra. When an email popped up and it was an old name, it's like, that doesn't make any sense. An old name. She started to do the investigation. Again, she's very technical. She's run background checks before for a company, so she's done this before. So she just starts to go ahead and investigate based on um, the birthday and the age, so you can guess the year and the name. And I'm like, well, you can even use that cell phone number on whitepages.com, you know. You can do that. Guess what happened? The name and the birthday ain't come. It's not coming up in anything. The identity of the person, and we're talking about a relationship. This person is in the home, had a, you know, having adult relations, being intimate. The information that the person has provided, he cannot be found. It's non-existent. There are all kinds of systems out there. I remember one uh, you have to have like special access to, like it's something similar, like like oh you like Lexus Nexus things like that. So you mean to tell me you have a name and a date of birth and no you can find nobody by that name? Cannot find anybody. This is crazy to me. Cannot find anybody by that name. I'm not gonna put the phone number when you have white pages. That's coming up a different name. Huh. So at this point, and it was like so weird, it was like at the same time, not planned, we both said, this is crazy. So it's like, who the hell is this? I'm like, it's like I spent hours, spent hours. I'm like, oh, you, we don't know who the heck this is.
Can you imagine? Again, they've been dating for a year and about three or four months. He's been around the family and they like him. And also he's even been around like the family members, their friends. Heck yeah. J just went on a trip two weekends ago. A weekend getaway. H he went. So my thing is, no, get the person on the phone and say we need to talk. She has called. She has text, texted. Hey, it's very important. We really need to talk. This is very, it's an urgent matter. We need to talk. Guess what? No response. No response. My thing is, hey, try to get a license plate. And maybe when the license plate or something, man, I mean, if you just like, I've checked three or four hours, hours of research on this here and can't find, I'm like, there's just no way. The information provided does not exist. Who the hell is this? I'm thinking, did the person, like, first thing hit my mind was, okay, did the person cross over the border? No. They've been staying here. Let them tell it for like, tw uh, what, 20 years, uh, 15, 20 years. But the person has, and I thought about it, I said, you know, that's why it was a big deal showing a driver's license. Even if it's, I mean, even, let, let's say, you can get a driver's license. I said, but refuse to show it. I didn't see what the big deal was. Refuse to show it. And I'm like, this person has been staying with you, sharing the same bed. The name given is not pulling, and the date of birth is not pulling up anywhere in the system. Very frightening. I'm like, you don't, I'm like, so you don't even, I mean, basically, you don't even know who the heck this is. I said, try and call. Call and text. No response. I said, I think with me, I will, you know, excuse me, <coughs> man, can you call you? This is crazy. I said, I will let the family members know what's going on. Forget about embarrassment. You have them over at the sibling's house and even their friend's house. This, your, your, your whole world has been exposed. Heck, I've been around. The, your whole, we don't know who this is. I never heard of anything like this. Nothing coming up in the system. I've never, we have never heard of anything like it. I'm like, you need to let everybody know what's going on right now. Because at this point, well, you don't know who this is. I said, but I told you, I said, if you notice, I'm a friendly person. I'm a kind of person. Oh, I'm very friendly. Oh, yeah. You meet me. I'm a very friendly person. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm that girl. I'm a very friendly person. That's just me. My neighbors, um, they were going on a little trip. I'm the kind of person, you know, we're on good terms. I, I don't do cooking stuff like that too much. I mean, I'll cook every now and then, but that's not my thing. So I, I went and like, I'm like, hey, I didn't know if you guys were, they were going to go on their trip. I'm like, hey, I didn't know if you guys were going to be leaving like early in the morning, you know? So guess what? I just gone to the store and got some little, you know, snacks and desserts. I'm like, hey, you know, it's going to be a long trip. You know, they're going to take a break, of course. And I said, hey, here are some refreshments to kind of take with you to, you know, just, just kind of munch on the road, you know, hey, safe travels. And I'll see you guys later, you know. Don't blame me for the calories. So it was like some fun food, not like some, oh, celery, celery tray. Oh, baby, please. Cupcakes and stuff. Hey, come on, you know. So I'm like, here's a little food to kind of, you know, a little something from the bakery section. So I just bought that and gave it to the neighbors and I, you know, see you guys later. That's how we operate. So I'm, I'm a friendly person like that. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. People have told me you're too friendly. Well, I'm a very friendly person. This here, I felt the aura. I mean, I'm a friendly person. It's like, my goodness. It's like, oh my God, there's a neighbor at the door. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't feel like talking. I just don't. And I don't want any visitors. So, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm just going to, you know, like, yeah, hey, yeah, I'm fine. Can we talk later? Because I don't want to be rude. You know what I mean? It's like, 
I want to have I'm relaxing on the sofa. We're watching a good movie, and here comes oh, here comes somebody. All right, so I'm a friendly person, but I kind of felt that vibe. Man, I felt a messy vibe from this person. I said something I knew, but now it's all making sense. And I said, I know I, I was even saying to this guy, I said, this is the strangest relationship. I've never had a person who all of a sudden doesn't like to talk. Then why are you here? I mean, we're not, you know, just in a, interacting with people. I said, I've never seen a, met a person like this here. I, I just said to this guy, I said, why does a person seem so secret? I mean, I'm like, even just on simple matters, you can like say, hey, how you doing today? And a person is like, looking at you. Fine. Yeah, I'm doing fine. Well, great. Glad to hear it. Any weekend plans? It's like, well, you have to do a countdown just to answer some simple questions? Who does that? And I've been saying, I put some... It, it, it's just not normal. It's like asking me, do you weigh 600 pounds? Are you closer to 600 pounds? Or are you closer to 149 pounds? I don't need to think about it. It don't take no 35, 40 seconds to think about it. Am I closer to 600 pounds or 149 pounds? I'm closer to, I mean, you know, you can't see me. I'm closer to 149. Are you closer to being seven feet tall? Or six feet. Keep on dropping it down. Are you closer to being five? Yep. I'm I'm uh <laughs> I'm not even five five. I'm actually five three. I don't need to think about that because I already know. Why well, have to be so which one are you closer to six feet or, or five five feet? Well, I'm not even five five, so I'm not six feet. So you know if I'm five three, I'm closer to five five. It it I don't need to. And I said, so now it's making sense. And this is scary. I'm like Again, we still don't know who this is. Who does a background check on somebody and nothing is coming the hell up? I don't know what this, this is crazy to me. What would y'all do? I'm like, man, I'll put the person on blast and now the phone calls and the text, you know, you just like need to talk about it, something really serious. All of a sudden, uh-oh, not, not responding. Not responding. I'm like, we got to get to the bottom of this right here. We might need to go ahead and pull up. Hey, how are you? Let's meet for coffee in a public place. And I made a joke. I I said, my question to them is, yeah, I got a question for you. Who is you? I'm joking. But no, that's what I have on the screen. Who are you? I have never encountered this. I never even heard of anything like this. People do better. And see, that's the one thing about it, too. Talked about it. I was like, hey, how'd you meet the person? And it was like, oh, you know, as soon as I had this function and that person was there. And I'm like, well, yeah, but I'm like that right there. That was at a, you know, it was a lot of people. It wasn't like it was a private function, you know. So you just assume because of caliber of people, you, how'd you meet this person? And I was like, you know, I'm going to do background checks, but I figure you're like, hey, this person is okay. But the email, that's what I thought was so weird. How we go from John Doe to, uh, uh, to to Wayne Doe? Oh, that's an old name. What you mean an old name? Maybe Is that an old name that you used before? Is, is that what it is? So we are a little perplexed it's not me personally but it's like you gotta be kidding me you have and you're in someone's life we, we don't know who the heck you are and this is crazy and upsetting might be some doing murder are, are you under the witness protection program is that what they what they do if somebody knows put in the comment section but it was like been checking all Friday night. Nothing came up. I'm like, what the heck you mean nothing came up? Can't find anything. Said the person does not exist. All I can think of, unless the person is lying and just came across the border or something, 
But see, it can't be that because check this out. Oh, let me get to the other part. We covered that. Because I was like, but the job, you have to do this. I, I said if the job the person has, they have to do what is called this, the I-9, where they verify. So I said, I know at that place, that person has to pass the uh, verification. Ask about the job. I think this person is one step ahead. I said, you don't find it funny when you start asking more questions? Then all of a sudden, oh, he's been fired from the job. There's been some problem with the, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, the I, uh, I-9 I paperwork or something. I'm like, well, what's the problem? You submit it. Passport, driver's license, they can run through the system. So I know this person is dealing with a stolen identity. But I, there is a serious, I'm like, this, this is just too weird. What do they have? And see, here's my thing. I want it if it's a stolen identity because what does that person have? It is, it's not making sense. Then what does that person have to work on a certain job where you pass the I-9, the E-Verify? Unless the person been lying all this time. I'm like, have you been up to the job? No. Now you mentioned a job and, oh, yeah, I just got fired, you know. there was What kind of problem? Either you pass it or you don't. I'm wondering if he might have a, a stolen identity. I don't know. But it's very uncomfortable. I'm just like, I have never in my... I have never heard of this saying, check the information and the person does not, nothing's coming up. The person does not exist. How, unless you just crossed over the borders, all I can think of. How is that possible? And then the person has a brother Check out his information. Here's the weird thing. I'm thinking that they're not related because the person has a brother. And I see, it's like, well, she's like, well, I checked the brother out and the brother information came up and the brother's information matched the address where he said he lived and had, uh, you know, uh, she, she'd been over there. I'm thinking the brother's not a brother. I think the brother just a friend. Because how the heck can the brother information check out? And you've been over to the house. But but the one you're dating, his brother, this, their brothers, but it doesn't make any sense. I don't think it's a brother at all. I just think it's somebody that he knows. I never in my life heard of this. I was just shocked. To me, it's frightening. We don't, who is this? And to me, it's dangerous too. I'm like, you don't know who the hell is this coming around. Don't come my way, which the person won't, of course, because they can, you know, I, 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 I'm i giving a chill factor, like I just sensed the bad aura. I didn't know this. Has anybody gone through this? That's why I said this doesn't make any sense. So the brother information, you can find the house and the address, that it was all that's matching, and you've been over there. But his isn't matching. That's not his brother, then. It doesn't make any sense. Even on white pages, you can connect the dots. It's not making any sense. It doesn't make sense. So I'm like, there's just no way. But that name is no way connected to it. At least I don't know about white. I know about white pages. But I'm like, it doesn't take hours to do a background check on somebody. You're in a relationship. So, ladies, we still have not gotten to the bottom of this. Again, I've never heard of anything like this. And now all of a sudden, oh, the job. I'm like, no, that's e they do they use e verify. You're not gonna just roll up an application. This company I know uses e verify. You best believe that. Makes me wonder if the person ever worth it at all, or maybe just lying. This again is it's very unsettling. I mean, I was just shocked. I'm like, what it was at the same time, we're like, this is crazy. Person doesn't exist. How is that possible? I know people sometimes are like, oh, I don't want to do a background check. I kind of want to get to know the person. You know what I'm saying? No, sometimes you have to. So we're trying to figure out who the person is. Man, I said I would call the authorities. 
they got something you can do, like uh, take a picture, I believe, and do like face recognition with IA. I'm sorry, AI, artificial intelligence. Might need to try that. As a matter of fact, yes, I have a picture of them on my phone. I'm like, you know, may have to try that. But who do you know a human being is very dangerous, is walking around here. You're in a relationship. They, you've met their family. They've met your family. Now they, they even in, so in good with the siblings, even with the family's friends. Like you, like you have a brother and a sister, and now that that person is so in good with your family. Oh, yeah, been to the house and all that. And now they're going on a trip, and then that person is invited too. Uh-uh. No, no. This is, this is weird to me. I have never in my life heard about it. Let me know what you all think. Maybe I'm just green naive. We ain't, we never heard of it. And how in the heck and a person knows how to do investigations? That's your background. Doing investigations, legal work, and now you got somebody. This doesn't make any sense to me. A person can't be found. The person doesn't exist. Bull crap. The person does exist. It's a human being. Ladies, this is, I mean, me, I, I sometimes get excited. I'm like, oh hell no. Uh-uh. We no, we need to talk today. How is this possible? I'm just, all I can think of is a person. I'm thinking a person may have just crossed the border or something and been lying all this time. I don't know. But how do you have some information? You're supposed to be an American citizen, you know, and the name and stuff, it doesn't exist. There's just no way. Name, date of birth. No it doesn't exist. So when you find people being real secretive, I will keep you updated on this here. I'm like, man, I will go to the authorities. You don't know what to think at this point. But panic. I was taking my jog. Well, at this point, I was walking, wasn't running. And I just stopped in my track. When I heard the words, the person doesn't exist. Ain't no way in hell. That's just... I just never heard of anything like where they do this at. I have never heard of anything like this. The person doesn't exist. I don't know. Is this some kind of trick? They clone Tyrone trick? I don't know. But we are concerned because this is just strange. So let me know what you guys think about this. If you're familiar with this kind of thing happening. It's just shocking to me. How the hell you mean your name and date of birth is just not found? Person does not exist. Th this is crazy, man. So, me, I'm saying, man, I would go to the authorities. You, I hope it's not a... Man, this person might be... Is this a spy or a terrorist? I'm not, you know... People say, oh, you may be jumping to the gun. No, you don't exist. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. We need to know who you are in our spaces. And it lets you know... Life is dangerous. Dating is dangerous now. It's like freaking scary. So I want to show this with you ladies. Like I said, and gentlemen, it, this is crazy. Dating somebody. And like I said, I, that explains to me all this. So I'm like, well, I said a person something to hide. I mean, I said in my tummy funny. It's like a simple question. Are you okay today? Why do you look like, like you got to stop and pause? Like, let me see. Is she a Martian? Should I choose A, B? Okay, yes or no? It's, it's just a common question. Don't see what the big deal is. And when I feel somebody like that, like I said, the energy with me was also, I just stand back. Oh, this here, I've never heard of it. So I'm to the point, maybe her skills are rusty. I'm going to, maybe I, you know what? That's Maybe I should try, but I'm like, this don't make no sense. Person does not. It can't find anything. Person doesn't exist. The hell that does. There's just no way. Like I said, that about the job I nine. Now all of a sudden, oh yeah, there was a problem with that, so I got fired. What the heck you mean you got fired? What did you present to the a passport, your driver's license? Okay, then let, let just show show it up to the person you're with because we need some answers up in here. We we need some serious ass answers. Good thing it's not me, because, man, I'm about to do a nice little pull-up. Hey, how are you? Guess what? Question of the day is, who the hell are you? This is a mean, sick world. I mean, again, I, we talked about this, and I'm like, try this, try that. Person does not exist. Let me know if y'all ever heard of it. I just don't see how this is even possible.
I, I just don't. I don't see how it's even possible to come up with something if a person can't be found. That's bull crap. Anyway, let me know what y'all think on a serious note. Uh, this is just crazy, so just be on the lookout. It's like, wow, you you people are just so horrible. People will be into your life, and you don't even know who the hell they are. It's the, enough for the ones you do know, but then you think you know somebody. Information ain't popping up. Where do they do that at? Anyway, I'm out. Um, you guys have a good Sunday. Thanks for watching. Feel free to come, like, subscribe, and share. Please, please, if you have any information on this here, put it in the comment section. Because we're really baffled, and we're just like, just can't, just like in awe. Can't, can't believe it. All I can think of, man, we need to go ahead and have a one-on-one -on -one pull up. You don't go to church on Sunday. Hey, how you doing? Let, let, let's meet up. We got to get some answers resolved. I can't be waiting to know Wednesday because this just don't sound right to me. I have never heard of this here. And you need to know who's in your space. Okay, you can keep yourself and your loved ones safe. And I'm out. You need to call the police. What